How's it going everyone? I'm Nick with the Free Thought Forum, and I have a quick video for you with step-by-step -step instructions on how you can access our Discord server so that you can take part in our weekly online meetings. If you've been having trouble connecting with us, or if you're new to using Discord, give these 9 steps a try, and feel free to pause this video as often as you need along the way. By the time you watch this, it may be slightly outdated, so if you encounter problems at any step, please add a comment below or send us an email, and we will be happy to reply with updated information. We also have local chapters, so if you would like to give our in-person discussions a try, check out our website to find or start a chapter of the Freethought Forum near you. I should note that we may not always use Discord for our online meetings. So be sure to check the details of an event's listing itself to make sure that you're connecting with us through the correct platform. When in doubt, you can also visit freethoughtforum.org online for clear information on when and where our online meetings will take place. The following instructions are for those of you who want to connect through your desktop computer or laptop, but they will also work reasonably well enough for those of you using a smartphone. Step 1. Visit the Discord website. For best results, we recommend downloading the Discord program onto your computer. Open up your internet browser and type in the address https colon slash slash discordapp.com. Step 2. Download the Discord program. Click on the download option on Discord's website. Depending on your browser, you may need to open the downloaded file to begin the installation. This is a safe file for your computer. So go ahead and grant any necessary permissions to complete the download and installation process. Step 3. Sign in or register. After the program has finished installing, find the purple Discord shortcut on your desktop. Open the file. You will probably see a sign-in screen. If you already have an account on Discord, go ahead and sign in. Otherwise, click on the link on that screen to register. Step 4. Find our invite link. During the registration process, you may be asked to verify your email. Either way, you should end up with a screen that looks something like this. Click on the Add a Server button in the top left of the page. We already have an invite for you, so click on the Join a Server button. You will then be asked to paste our invite link into a field. If you don't already have this link, you can get it by opening up your internet browser again and by visiting freethoughtforum.org online. Once you've found the link on that page, highlight it and copy it. Return to Discord and paste the link in the matching field. Please note that this link may change in the future, so it's possible that the one you see in this video no longer works. You'll want to always use the current link listed on our website. Step 5. Join our server. After you've pasted our link, click on the Join Server button. You'll probably be greeted by our welcome page. Click on the button that says Start Here. You'll then be taken to our Start Here channel. If you ever get lost, you can return to this channel by clicking on it from the channel menu on the left. At this step, you'll notice that most of our server is locked. This is a precaution that helps us better moderate the server. To gain full access to our meeting rooms, you will first be asked to agree to our five rules. Step 6. Agree to our five rules. Visit our Rules channel by clicking on it from the channel menu on the left. Once there, you can read and agree to follow our five rules for civil discourse by typing I agree in the text bar at the bottom of the screen. Hit Enter to post that comment. If you are unable to type anything, please wait for a few minutes and try again. Step 7. Become a forum member. It may take several minutes, but one of our directors or moderators will promote you to the status of forum member. You'll know your status has changed because your username will turn from white to gray. You'll also notice that several channels will be unlocked in the channel menu. Step 8. Use push to talk. Before joining your first meeting, we highly recommend that you make an adjustment to your account. This option prevents your voice from coming through unless you are pushing down a certain key on your keyboard. It helps us hear one another significantly more clearly and prevents other common problems that tend to come up. Click on the gear symbol in the bottom left portion of the screen to open your account settings. Select the voice and video option. On that screen, make sure that the push to talk option is selected. 
you can use the control key unless you have some other preference. Click on the X in the top right of the screen to return to the previous screen. Step 9. Join a meeting. You're now ready to go. If you're here in time for one of our scheduled meetings, you may now join the discussion. Find the links under the Sunday Meeting Room 1 category in the channel menu. If Room 1 is too crowded, you can move on to join Room 2, Room 3, and any other room where you see other four members meeting. Click the first link to see and post the text messages, links, and images that supplement the conversation. You can type your comments here so that they could be seen by all other participants. This is a great option for those of you who don't have a microphone. Finally, click on the second link in the meeting room to join the voice chat where you can listen in on the live conversation. Oh hey, it looks like there's already someone here. If you have a microphone, you can activate it by holding down the push to talk key on your keyboard. Simply let go of the key after you finish talking. For best results, please use headphones or earbuds. This will prevent the sound from feeding back into your microphone when you use it. We hope you enjoy the conversation and leave the meeting feeling more enlightened, enriched, and empowered to take on the coming week. When you're ready to leave the meeting, simply click on the Disconnect button in the lower left portion of the screen. This will remove your profile picture from the voice chat. Click on the X in the top right corner to exit Discord, and you're done. I hope this Discord tutorial has been helpful, and I look forward to hearing your perspective at the next online meeting of the Freethought Forum.